Live now to that news conference, our reporter Patricia Fasaki uh, attended the briefing and she joins us live from Pretoria now. Maybe just to say, I've had several interactions with the board and uh, I had a board meeting even today and I'm very grateful to announce that uh, the board is very supportive of this intervention. And uh, they've offered to resign on their own volition to allow for these interventions. In this regard then, <clears throat> I've decided to appoint Dr. Simolu Shaba, the gentleman on my left, to lead this intervention. He will be supported by the technical teams with the aim of moving swiftly to assure our stakeholders and our creditors and other and the public in general about our plan and commitment to make sure that the post office functions optimally. Okay. This team, led by Dr. Simo Lushaba, in terms of the law, <coughs> section twenty-five, is got three months for this intervention to do the and to achieve the or to do the following. Firstly, to stabilize the organization, including employing measures to resolve the current strike. To assess the capacity of the management and ensure that we have the required capacity to deal with the current challenges, including filling of a, a vacant posts, critical vacant posts. Employ the agent strategies for the short-term gains to reduce further financial bleeding of the company. Those short-term strategies must be in line with the business case they have to develop that will underline the long-term turnaround, which can be supported by government, including, including National Treasury. As we have said, they'll have to make sure that uh, the leadership issues should be finalized so that there's no instability in the leadership. They must finalize the annual report so that we can table the annual report in Parliament and prioritize that. <clears throat> and urgently finalize the case against the suspended CEO and other senior executives. and to meet with the post office clients to discuss the current challenges and their future needs. And basically they are entrusted with the efforts of uh, ensuring that we restore the public and business confidence to the post office. As I've said, I've met with the directors of the South African post office this afternoon who took the decision to resign with immediate effect. I've accepted this resignation and I honestly thank all these board members for allowing us to this opportunity to implement the intervention. I know most of them are professional in their jobs and they've done their best to try and stabilize the post office. Some of them have recently been appointed, others have been with the post office for some time, but on the whole, not more than three years. I just want to underline that the, the problems of the post office didn't start Developing. I'm 
particularly happy that the board members or former board members have expressed their full support and have agreed that if they are needed individually, they, may, they will in avail themselves to assist in the process as as when as they are required to do so. We are saying so because we, there are current challenges which may need some continuity. And I'm very grateful that uh, particularly those who are dealing with uh, the issues of uh, the suspension and investigation, that they continue to give support to the intervention team. And those who have been dealing with some of the critical issues like the IT and other problems which are plaguing this, that they are availing themselves to be available to continue to assist the intervention. The, this intervention formed part of a suite of targeted activities of government in implementing, were implementing to help, to, to help the troubled state-owned companies to deliver the services as they are mandated. So the post office is not the only intervention. It is part of the measures. You remember Minister of Finance, Minister Nene, Honorable Nene, did announce that we will have to deal with the challenges which are facing our state-owned companies. Our call is that the current unprotected and violent strike at the post office has caused a lot of harm to many citizens, particularly the students, the small businesses, and diplomatic communities. It must come to an end, this violent uh, strike. We must, together as South African, work together to support this intervention so that we can deliver the services to the post office. We thank all workers who have returned to work and continue to call upon all workers participating in the current uh, industrial action <coughs> to return to work with immediate effect <clears throat> and assist their company to be stable. Stabilizing the South African Post Office is a matter of national interest, and it is critical that we all work together in this. Just a brief on Mr. Lushaba. Dr. Simo Lushaba is a graduated BSc honors in advanced biochemistry from the University of Zululand. He holds, it doesn't stay in Zulu, by the way, he stays in Kauteng. <laughs> <laughs> he holds a master's degree in business administration from Wales University and a doctor of business administration from the University of KwaZulu Natal. He also holds a designation of a chartered director of South Africa, awarded by the Institute, Institute of Directors of Southern Africa. Dr. Lushaba is a business leader that has worked as an executive and non -exe at a non-executive levels in South Africa and Southern African Development Community. He was a general manager responsible for operations at Transnet Freight Rail and as a chief executive of Run Water, a substage. He served as a non-executive director of Homani Gold Cash Build Limited and Cash Build Limited. He works in the field of corporate governance as a facility and facilitate director development programs for the Institute of Directors of Southern Africa. He was a member of the Presidential Review Committee on the State-Owned Entities. And, uh, if you want to know more about him, that's why I availed him here, so that you can ask him all the difficult questions. <laughs> but uh, bearing in mind, he's just arrived. We've just appointed him now. I thank you very much, uh, members. We'll take a uh, few questions. Um, thank you, thank you, Minister. Just to indicate something. When you uh, yeah. ask a question, kindly take which, uh, which uh, you're coming from. 
Uh, I will be brief. We will take uh, a round of three questions first, and then we'll come back afterwards. First thing I have by uh, one, two, okay, we'll take the first two. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Paula Minifidi from E News. I'd just like to find out now that you've, um, now that the board has resigned uh, voluntarily, um, I just need to, to get a bit of clarity. Do we have a sense as to when this post office strike will come to an end, firstly? And secondly, um, I'd also like to find out the. the, the, the please forgive me, it's been a long day. <laughs> the Communication Workers Union has um, spoken at length about uh, the amount of corruption in the post office. Uh, are these some of the things that the uh, that Dr. Lushabo will be dealing with? Are we going to see sort of a cleaning out, so to say, uh, which is what the CW has been calling for uh, ever since the problems began in the post office? Thank you. Okay, thanks. Uh, yes. Thank you. Edwin Chiviza from the same news. <coughs> Uh, uh, Minister, are you able to indicate to us the impact of the strike? Thank you. Uh, we'll take those two questions, uh, Minister. Thank you. Uh, the, the strike, unfortunately, is not a protected strike. There is no union which has declared a strike with the South African Post Office. We have got three unions at the South African Post Office. Uh, that's what complicates the matters. But as a department working with the, the previous board, working together with the current management, we have been embarking on processes of visiting hotspots to speak directly to the workers so that we can explain the, the status and the impact of the strike and call upon the workers to strike. As you know, in some of the major mail centers like Swanem, workers did come back in large numbers. But unfortunately, some of them were attacked inside those mail centers which has reversed some of the, <clears throat> the activities uh, around those. From what we're getting from the workers, the workers are still prepared to come back to work. It's the few violent elements which are really causing the problem. And we are calling that uh, those who are breaching the law, the law enforcement agencies must implement the law. We are also saying <clears throat> uh, to the administration, uh, to the intervention team, <clears throat> that uh, the principle of no work, no pay must be enforced because it has not been enforced. And uh, so that those who don't come to work, we can't continue to splash resources to them. The strike has had a very negative impact on this key strategic asset, the South African Post Office. It has had, as I've said, a devastating effect on small businesses who rely on the Post Office to do their businesses. This is a sector which we say is a major job creator and we want to support this government. It has had a very bad effect to those members of our working class who cannot afford to go and stay in our institutions of higher learning, who rely on this distance learning and the services of the post office. Because they go to work during the day, they have to go and start at night, but they need the assignment to go through the process. So those are the things we are saying. It has had a very bad impact to those members of the society who are sick or rely on chronic medication, which is normally delivered by the post office. That's why we are calling upon the consciousness. We are really calling upon our, all our collective consciousness that uh, we must, we must end the strike. 
we have been engaging with the leadership of the union to say we understand that they also have certain demands, like a better uh, <coughs> services for their for their members as workers. But all what we are appealing that let's first give a chance to the post post office to operate, so that we can generate the revenues to meet with those demands. I think there's been general understanding among with the leaders of this union that that is quite critical and we'll continue to cooperate. From our side, we have established the worker forums and we say the intervention team must strengthen those forums and increase the communication because what has been a problem, if we don't communicate to the public and don't communicate to the workers, about even the challenges that cause a lot of problems. So, so those are some of the immediate things this intervention will prioritize uh, among the other things we have mentioned before. Thank you very much. Um, we'll take another round of questions there. Oh, there was a question about corruption. Mm. Uh, what did you say? Oh, the... Uh, they could also could, like, do the some cleanup <laughs> mm, uh, because some unions were saying that uh, uh, there's a lot of corruption. Uh, I hope that was not directed at the board members or whatever. <laughs> uh, We're directing it at the board. Members. Okay. The well, that was Telecommunications and Postal Services Minister Sia Bongotswela addressing the media in Pretoria on the post office workers' strike. Now, he's calling for the case of the suspended CEO to be finalised. The minister also this afternoon accepted the voluntary resignations of board members. He's urging a speedy resolution to stabilise the post office, one of the oldest and most vital institutions in the country.